Hey there chameleons, it's Camille and today I'm doing an ombre wig application and review video so I hope you enjoy it. So to get started I French braided my hair. My hair is originally straight before this and then I braided it very tightly to my head. I actually filmed a tutorial for this and it will be up on my channel soon so don't forget to subscribe if you want to see that. But basically just tightly braid your hair to your head. Now I'm using this wig, it's by Premier Lace Wigs. It's the Rihanna style ombre medium brown. It's linked in the description box down below as well as all of the details about it. So it came in this plastic casing to keep it all together. There were instructions, there were a set of eyelashes, a necklace they even threw in there, and two wig caps, which are awesome because you need wig caps. So you take out the wig from the container and there's a tag on it and a little hairnet like those cafeteria ladies wear. So you just want to remove that and let it stick to your arm with all that static electricity. And then you want to cut off the tag. And here is your beautiful bouncy wig. Yeah. <laughs> I love the curls so far. You can always change them, but the curls came pretty nicely. So first you want to take off the net part. This is just extra lace that's on any new wig. And it's just so you can sort of fix the hairline however you want it. And that's how you know it's a completely new wig. The inside of this one has clips on it, unlike the last one, which is awesome because it will actually stay on your head better without having to DIY clips onto it or bobby pin. And these are just really great for going around that wig cap. It also has an adjustable strap, so it will fit people who have smaller heads, larger heads. You can adjust it to whatever your size is, and it's just very easy. So first, I'm going to take out one of the bald caps, and it looks tiny, but it will fit over my whole head. You're also going to need some bobby pins to pin your braids. And I'm taking off the hair scrunchies because they're thick and you don't need that. So I'm wrapping that on the opposite side of my head underneath the braided part and just pinning that to my head. Doing the same thing on the other side, remove the hair scrunchie to get rid of any of the bulk and then wrap it and tuck it underneath the other braid. It will be a lot less hair if you have short hair, but you can still do this with long hair. Just kind of make your hair as flat as possible. Now you have these little horns, <laughs> but don't worry about that. That will all flatten under the bald cap, which looks like this. And you're pretty much just going to stretch this over your entire head and just use this to lay down your hair, get it as flat as possible, and get the color of your head to be closer to a neutral, like the color of your skin, so it looks more like your scalp when you have the actual wig on. Don't forget to tuck down any strays, and now you looking like a straight up gangsta girl. Ooh, yeah, rocking that. Shaving my head soon, because I look good. <laughs> Anyways, now I'm gonna put the wig on top of my head just to see how it fits the sizing, how much lace I want to cut off, and what size I want to adjust the head size thing to, I suppose. Here's all that extra lace that you don't need, and I'm pretty much just going to cut it all off keeping the same hairline, just because the hairline was fine for me, but if for some reason you want to change that, that's, that's all up to you, girl. But I'm just getting scissors and cutting as close to that hairline as possible, so there's no extra lace. Now I'm going to adjust the strap based on my head size and just hook it right in there. Trying to do it without looking does not work, note to self. Now you're going to throw that on because it's adjusted for you. You have your hairline and everything, you're ready to go on top of that bald cap. You want to readjust it and kind of look for those clips because you want to use those around the bald cap so you're going to find it. Pull the clip forwards, tuck it under the bald cap, and tuck that into your actual hair, and then clamp down. So you just want to go right outside, tuck under, and then invert it, so then it will stay attached to your head. So you can do flips and tricks, which you probably actually shouldn't with a wig, but you know. Anyways, now you can pull down some of your baby hairs so it looks more natural. Just kind of adjust those however you would do your babies and you can pull some out with a comb, you can lay it down with some gel, whatever your thing is. Now you want to go in with some concealer or foundation and a flat brush and I'm using this to disguise the part so it will look a lot more like skin 
once you start painting it on, covering some of that lace and blending it in with your actual part. To get it looking even more natural, you want to go in with some tweezers and just pull out some of the hairs that are around the part so it's not so perfect. Because as Hannah Montana says, nobody's perfect. And even though she got away with wearing a wig and people thinking it was real, you won't if you don't adjust the part. No one has a perfectly straight, exactly thin part like this, so just roughen it up a little bit, but just don't over tweeze. I'm just gonna take out those extra strands that I just tweezed off and get rid of it. Now you're pretty much done. Just adjust your wig, curl it, straighten it, cut it, whatever you wanna do to it. I liked how it was curled. This is kinda scary for me because now that I see myself with brown hair again, I kind of want it. Paradise Tour coming soon! Maybe, probably not. I don't know. But I hope you guys liked this video. I hope it was helpful or entertaining. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. I have all my social media linked in the description box down below, including my Facebook page, which I think you should all like, so you can get updates on everything, including my new blog posts. I'm very active on Twitter and Instagram. Pretty much I just want to talk to you guys all day, so don't forget to check that out. But thank you, Chameleon, so much for watching. I wish you all a happy, healthy life, and I will see you in the next video. Kisses. Mwah.